So what was it like um, how, working with, do you know LL personally now? Or what yes, was it like working yeah. with him? L, I mean, L, like man. Omar Epps, I mean, L, L, Onyx, like. L L is one of one of one of the great great people that I've met and got a chance to. I wouldn't say no, okay. but you know, I mean, yeah, I would say no to a certain extent. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But it's a great guy. You know what I mean? Um, he showed me nothing but love. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Um, I mean hospitality, his generosity towards me at at times uh -huh. was just you know never wavered. So I had nothing but respect for him. So you know, he like welcome you with open arms to this day. Yeah, I, I remember um, the last time I seen L, I had just came off my last bid. And like you familiar, it's a bus station down the street from here. And I ran into him. I was just, and he was coming out the bank and I was just, and it was like, oh, we kind of startled each other. He's like, what's up? He's like, yo, you just got out. And I'm like, yeah. And he like just goes in his pocket, gives me money he had. Goes, goes back in the bank, does the trip. Call me, call me, call me. I'm like, yo, I'ma call you. I got my phone, I'ma call you. And I lost the phone. Like, see, shit like that happens to me. You know I me mean? all the time. Same thing with a lot of great artists. Lil Wayne's another guy, man. Showed me nothing but love, met. Wayne? Lost, lost my phone, was in contact with him, lost the phone. I mean, I just hope they don't think that Shiles was on some bougie shit and I decided not to call. But it wasn't that. It's just that, you know, when you're living reckless and you're doing things like that, you lose phones. You know what I'm saying? You right. lose things. But again, that wasn't the time, I guess, for that. Would you reach out to him now and, like, try to collaborate um, and do something? I like things to be natural. Sure. So I would I would just wait for the moment for, 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 the, for the universe to put us in the same passing. Because if it's meant, I'll walk out the door and he'll be walking in. And if that's meant, that's what it'll be. Or something that happened to create that explosion of energies. You know what I mean? If that's the case, that's it. But I'm not into chasing nobody down or, yo, I need it. I, I'm, not, I'm not that type of person. That's a good way of thinking. You know, I mean, like, I, I'm not going to force nobody. Right. If somebody wants to help, they can offer their help. Right. And, you know, that's great. Well, if not, you know, I continue to do what I want to do and what I'm going to do and just be me. And then, you know, when they want to come, they come. But I'm not going chasing anybody. When, when Wayne see this, he going to hit you up. Yeah, because it's still <laughs> business at the same time. You know what I'm saying? It's business. And then there's, there's I guess, it's personal and admiration. Or th all type of things play a part, especially in this business. You know, in this business, you get you get some people that don't see it like that. You think you get some people that see it as, yo, I'm up right now, yo, I want $20,000 to be on you. Right. I want, you know what I mean, because they may be in demand right now. So but if which, a new artist was like, hey, sorry, can you, I ain't got no money to give you, can you come be I'm on not, my I'm not saying right I'm not going to, I'm going to do it for no money because, you know what I'm saying, bring, what do you got to bring to the table? Right. I'm not out here, I'm not out here hoeing myself. So at the same time, I'm not asking for nothing for nothing from nobody. Right. You know what I'm saying? I prepare to come, you know what I'm saying? And and whatever it is, it's like, yo, all right, maybe not twenty thousand. Yo, shy, you know, I do the record, son, you know, uh you know, fuck it, fly me out, put me up, da 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 take care, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like mm -hmm. I am willing to do that. Right. So that brings me to a little bit down the road in your career. You started your own record label. Yeah. Bottom up record, yeah. right? Hardest shit in the world. Huh? The hardest shit in the world to do. So, who were some of the artists that did? Now, did you have artists that you had signed? That wasn't. That was never the whole. That was never the whole um, concept of bottom up. Okay. Bottom up concept was. I wanted to have a platform for, like you say, the guy that has no resources, right? So the artists that was featured on the bottom of projects, they was just MCs that I met one way or another through passing, some from around the way, some not, or, and I'm like, okay, I have these resources, studios, directors, and, you know, outlets to get, to get it heard. And my only requirement from those guys was when you get your opportunities and you move on, come back to help the next group of right. 
do. So it'd be like right. just a platform right. from the go from the bottom up. But you got to come back to help. Right. To help. So, I mean, it was a great idea. But, you know. Y'all made a couple. Y'all, y'all was popping for a minute. Yeah, but. What's his name? Trife? Well, Trife, Trife is, Trife was, Trife wasn't necessarily bottom up. Okay. But he contributed to the movement. Okay. Strife was Starks Enterprises under Ghost and right. you know what I'm saying? So that but he's from we're from the same neighborhood. Okay. So that's my boy, you know what I'm saying? So he supported the movement. Y'all still down to this day? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You know, um Is he still making music? Yeah, he actually just sent me something in my email to get on or whatever. And I'm you know, I'm vibing with it and okay. you know, seeing what what Is I could cool? do with it. I have some reserves because like I said, I've learned the power of my word. Right. So, and it's just a talk. It's nothing, nothing wrong with what he was saying. Right. But I'm not into glorifying. I'm not into yo, yo, my guns and yo, we gonna murder niggas and I'm not on that time because I know what it is to take a life. Right. So when you're responsible for something like that, it changes your outlook on things. Right. So I'm like, I don't want to necessarily, not to say I'm getting all like, oh, you know, suit and tie, but it's like we can tell the same story from a different perspective. Right. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's true. Why not lead our people out of, out of this, out of the slums? Mm -hmm. Not to keep us there. Exactly. So we can tell the same story, and you can hurt a motherfucker if he needs to be hurt, but not just for senseless things. Right. You know what I mean? Right. So let's just uh, let's just get a different different conversation going on. Exactly. So a lot of these new artists right now, they think that's what's up to say that. Like, I don't. To me personally, I don't think they're actually doing that or experienced that or done whatever they're saying. Like, so, how do you feel about the new music and the artists saying something that may have not been true? I know you said you speak things into existence, yeah. but I don't think they finna speak well, a Glock into existence. Well, they could, she, like what, what, they, what they were speaking to existence, right? They would attract people that's carrying True. Glocks, that's going to be at your concert, and guess what happens? Somebody gets shot, and it may be even you. Right. So, it's not saying like, oh, like magic like oh you're a glock in my hand bring it's gonna pop in my hand right. but you're creating an environment right. that brings this type of energy to you True. so this is what you're gonna attract yeah you know and i, I just personally i just don't want to attract it i think i think i think a lot of the, i think a lot of these kids are talented right. and i just hope they be careful man you know Who that's some the, of the cats you listening to now like the the newer um, artists i don't really even know mind you it's what's today's date i've been home 60 days 61 days so wow. all this is new for me okay. you know what i mean um heard a couple guys you know what i mean i'm like okay it's all right you know what i mean are you looking for that same sound or same genre uh, you know east coast or you know it's funny right <laughs> Like, uh, because there's would, a lot of cats out here that's from summer everywhere. Yeah. What would you gravitate towards? Like, let me, let, me, let me listen to that or... Well, here's the thing, right? Oh, one of my producers, uh, his name is Narrator, right? Mm -hmm. The Narrator, me and him had a huge discussion over it. Almost sort of like an argument, kind of. Because I don't feel like I should be put in a box. You know what I mean? I mm -hmm. feel like, okay... That's a trap beat. I could rap on a trap beat. Okay. I could rap on this. I could do this. I could rap on that. I could do that. I could, I could be versatile. And his argument is, I represent something. Oh. And if I partake in that, mm -hmm. my fans might not appreciate that. And I'm like, well, creativity is creativity. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm from the world. You know right. what I'm saying? Why do I have to be right. considered a, a East, even though I'm East Coast forever, you know what I mean? But, right. like, like I, like I said, why well, I can't be Liddy, right? So he's like, exactly. yeah, but, but. Snoop did it. So, I mean, but with anything, everything has its time and place. Right. Whatever I do, it will always be me, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, right. and I have a job to do. I have a, I have a job to do. I understand the job that I have to do, and that's to teach. So I'm going to teach, even if I got to teach on a club record and have you saying something you don't realize you're saying until after it gets stuck in your head, right. and you know. So there's an artist, a lot of artists, basically, 
who be getting locked up or whatever is one artist in particular, Kodak Black. He is out there like putting shit on Instagram, tweeting and doing all this other stuff while he's locked up. So you didn't really listen to music or you wasn't trying to, was you just trying to block yourself out from everything so you can get through, you know, the time or did you not have the resources to still stay up current on everything? I mean, see, a lot of the other states had things like... Excuse me. We just got now. We just uh, last year, right before I got out, around what was it? Um, maybe September mm-hmm. 2019. We just got tablets in New York State, the facility I was at. So we didn't have the access like a lot of other states have. They had the computer. They can download music. Oh. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have access. We were still on cassette tapes for majority of my what? day. So I'm all the way up in Dannemora, New York, and that's Where Hicktown. That? That's oh. next to Canada in Hicktown, and you're Please hearing. Your ass away. Yeah, okay. that was part of the plan, you know. And so, you wow. know, it was an eight-hour trip. Tapes? Yeah, cassette tapes. Was you on an island or something? No, I was in New York State. Okay. I'm in New York State, but they own. They didn't switch over. They didn't switch over. They just recently now, your family can send you electronically, can send you money. You can download music and movies you to your own time. How, how was they putting money on books and things? You like had that? to do a money order and send your money Shut order yeah, to the facility. Yeah. This uh, just this last year that is now you can go right on your phone and so it, 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 they needed to do that because times is passing and people were being left behind. But New York State was the I think the last state to get that. Like you got. Florida, I'm sure Chicago and them, they have that already, don't they? Yeah. They have their own tablets. They and have everything. Yeah. Everything. Mm-hmm. My, unfortunately, my cousin is my, one of my favorite cousins. He's locked up or whatever mm-hmm. in Chicago. But he has every. He be on Facebook. He be on. I mean, yeah. Uh, well, we ain't getting no. They ain't give us no Facebook. You ain't getting no Facebook news. That's crazy. That's not gonna happen. No. No. You can send an email, but it goes through a channel. It gets screened. Then they send it out. Like that, and the vice versa. Come I mean, they be like smuggling phones and shit. I mean, oh, you got people that do that here too, but I mean, it's the chance you want to take. Here, you getting two, three years for that shit, four years for a phone. On top of what on you On top get, of what you get. If they find you with. That's a fact. So that's I mean, pr- that's heavy. I ain't, I ain't want to talk nobody anyway that bad. So what? What was you? I mean, what was you doing? I mean, that's like. Stone age. Yeah, well, that's when I. I what was I, you doing with your time? Was you writing? I, have- I wrote. I read. Um, I I just thought a lot. Okay. And I just took it day by day. You know what I'm saying? And then next thing you know, you look back. So like, oh, did, shit. did we get? Did, is we gonna have some fire material from you from from all that from that lockup? Um. From being. I don't know in about that. Solitaire. Shit. I don't know about if it's gonna be because of that. <laughs> I think it's just, you know, I have some things I have to say that I want to say. So, you know, get off my chest. That's cool. So, um, are you thinking about getting back into acting? Um, yeah, I mean, eventually, eventually everything's one step, you know what I'm saying? I just really had to so get, you just like, like my, per- my, my personal, my personal things in order, my personal life in order. Right. I hear you writing a book or wrote a book. Yeah. Now, is it a paperback or is it an audio? Um. Well, I'm in the process of recording the audio part of it now. Okay. I have written the. I have written it while I was away. Okay. So now I'm just reading what I've read, written, okay. and adding adding my spices Tell us to what it. What is a, a little bit of, a, a little bit about what it's about? It's about me. Yeah. You know, Your whole life. Pretty much. Just most of it. Everything. Put yeah. Everything out. There. Yeah. I think it'll be fun. All right, well, I wish you the best on that. Thank you. Um, well, I won't take too much of your time. I thank you so much for coming down and talking You're welcome. To me. Um, I really appreciate it. And I hope everything goes well with you in life. You are a great spirit. I'm like a real spiritual person, and I feel people vibes, and 
different things yeah. like that. And I ain't gonna go into all the things. I, I keep calling you a Scorpio because I'm really into Zodiac. But um, your true colors, I, I can see your true colors just by this little interaction. And, and you deserve blessings. So mm. Blessings to you. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you for tuning in with me and Shaheem, one of Wu-Tang's dopest killer bees. We had so much fun, and I thank you so much, New York, for having me. I'll be back soon. Y'all tune in for the next episode to see who comes to talk to me.